check out this upcoming episode of DevNet Snack Minute, where Kareem and I do a preview of Cisco Live and all the cool stuff we're going to be giving you from Cisco DevNet. Hey, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a developer advocate with Cisco DevNet. Hey, everyone. Matt DiNapoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with the DevNet program. Welcome to episode 15 of DevNet Snack Minute. If you don't know what DevNet Snack Minute is by now, DevNet Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute all things DevNet, giving you a quick, fun way to learn about Cisco APIs, coding, and just some cool stuff that you may want to know. And Kareem, the cool stuff we're going to be talking about today is Cisco Live. Woo! Yay! <laughs> We wanted to provide you guys with a preview of what DevNet's going to be providing as part of Cisco Live and give you guys some information on how to register, or not how to register, but where to register and uh, what the event's going to look like for everyone moving forward. Um, so right now I'm uh, actually sharing the uh, Cisco Live homepage. So if you head to CiscoLive.com, uh, this will be the uh, page that shows up for you. And one thing you might notice is that uh, we're going to be doing a follow the sun type event where uh, starting on March 30th in the Americas, uh, the event will kick off and run for 24 hours. And uh, we will have three separate sections of the event uh, running for the Americas, um, the Asian area, APJC, and our friends in Europe as well. So um, always fun to, to have those kinds of uh, follow the sun type events. And so one quick thing before I uh, turn it over to Kareem is I wanted to point out, uh, if you're interested in attending some of our DevNet sessions, uh, you can hit up the session catalog and head over there and uh, just search for DevNet. And you'll come across all of the um, information that we have around our, or I should say our DevNet sessions. Um, Susie, we will be giving a very interesting talk about architecting for agility. So I highly recommend uh, if you don't join anything the entire the entire two days, uh, that would be the one thing to check out. Um, if you have any interest in some of the anytime sessions, um, those are available and all of the, you know, dev netty things that we tend to do uh, will be available um, for you as part of the offering for Cisco Live. So Kareem. Um, do you do you have any sessions during uh, during the main event for Cisco Live? Yeah, I'm actually covering a new session that's pretty relevant around uh, Cisco DNA Center and the new API endpoint, uh, the proximity data that you can get out of um, DNAC itself, which was an episode that we covered previously um, and on the show. What about you, Matt? Do you have anything? Um, unfortunately, not not during the main event, but uh, we are also running workshops. Um, April 5th through the 15th, and I, I believe you're actually running one of those too, right? Yeah, I'm super excited about that one, Matt. Actually, the the new workshop experience is pretty awesome too. Um, and if, uh, you know, let me walk you through what we have here for yeah, I'm excited uh, to kind see of that. a preview of what it, the workshop would look like. Um, but basically, Matt, and if you're looking at my screen, uh, we, mm -hmm. we have a new kind of a learning lab 2.0 experience is what we call it internally. And this allows us to, as we're running these workshops, you know, if you remember coming to the DevNet zone and having the hands-on experience, you know, you had a, a developer environment in front of you where, you know, whether it's a, a Mac or a PC that you kind of worked on and followed through with the workshop. Well, we took in, we've taken that experience to a browser where you don't actually have to set up anything uh, prior to the workshop. You can just join me and this is essentially the platform. Um, I'm teaching introduction to Git and basically what's cool about this is as we're going together through the workshop, uh, we can easily follow the, the, the commands without you actually having to, to type anything in because you get this container that you have um, that we have pre-set up or pre-installed all the required libraries for you. So I can, you know, I can do Git status and you know, get clone and all of that from within the browser itself. So you'll be following me. We'll, we'll talk about this together. Yeah, that's really cool. So terminal and uh, is that on the top there? Those that's a developer. Is that a developer environment? But... Yeah, it's a full on developer environment. That's awesome. Very, very cool. 
Um, and so you're doing the intro to get one, right? And then uh, I have one on optimizing your APIs with Meraki. I'm really excited uh, to work on that and, um, and, and provide that workshop. We, if I remember correctly, we have um, uh, introduction to AMP APIs as part of our workshops. Um, there is a WebEx collaboration uh, session that's gonna be part of the workshops. Um, we also have, uh, for those of you who uh, are new to uh, DevNet, uh, and we had a previous uh, snack minute with our uh, start now guru, Dewan Lightfoot. Um, he's going to be doing uh, intros to Python and REST through this Learning Lab Workshop 2.0 platform. And um, I think that's I think that's everything that we're covering. So a lot of uh, really uh, exciting material that we're going to be uh, working on through uh, that learning uh, that Workshop 2.0 platform. Thanks for showing us that, Kareem. I think the new platform also will give our attendees a new experience um, and kind of uh, an easy way to interact with us. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah that's cool. That's cool. Um, there was one other thing, if you don't mind me showing you, Kareem, that that uh, I wanted to, to note about Cisco Live. Um, so for those of you who might have attended some of our previous events, um, we have done uh, something called Capture the Flag. And these are uh, immersive engagements that we have with a variety of areas of Cisco. And so um, as this, as you're looking at this page here, you see we have an opportunity to um, hit up uh, Capture the Flags with Enterprise Networking, Security, Data Center, uh, Meraki, and then you'll see our, our little DevNet one is down there as well. And um, what's really cool about Capture the Flag is it takes the things that you're learning in these sessions and potentially even getting hands on with and really challenging the lessons that you've learned in those sessions or, or be able to play with the environments that are being demonstrated uh, through those sessions. And so, um, you know, for those of you that are interested in, in giving yourself that challenge, um, if you head to Cisco Live 2021.letsplaycf.io, um, that will give you access to the uh, the portal right now for the uh, teaser content. And so all of these existing areas are free uh, to try out. And so feel free to poke around those. And then you'll notice here on the left hand side, we have the full CTF session um, uh, during the uh, April 5th, April 15th uh, time frame. And those will be only accessible to the all access pass holders. Uh, for CTF. So right now, everything's free to, to try out and play. And then uh, for those of you that are interested, uh, that are registered for the all access pass of Cisco Live, the full CTF will be available uh, starting April 5th. So um, that was one other exciting thing I want to show you. Now, is there is there like a leaderboard or something going on with this, Matt? Yeah, so um, you, we can dig into it just real quickly here. Um, so you man mentioned doing your workshops for intro to get um, so it actually takes some of the content that that you would be putting out there and asking people questions if they're really paying attention and if they were following along. Uh, so they're they're set up into missions and the flags that you um, get are set up to you know answer the questions. Um, we have ones for introductions to REST API and introduction to Python as part of our teaser content, and then we dive into the Cisco platforms for the the full CTF. And there's leaderboards that will tell you how you're doing compared to everyone globally. And uh, just a lot of fun. People really seem to like it. All right, Matt, thank you so much. Thank you, Snackers. This is all the time we have today. Hope to see you at Cisco Live and join us next time for another episode of Snack Minute. Thank you, guys.